Hi guys, here I do a break building practice box and I asked my student to film me uh, a little bit more realistic view on how I do this stuff. Uh, it's a nice practice to warm up me as a player. Like if you talk about my standards specifically, of course you want to do more like a, a realistic practice where you need to split the packs and uh, you want to move the cubo around. But here I do the practice just because uh, I want to get my mind sharp, uh, cubo tight, and just allow my thinking process flow. So when we talk about snooker, it's not only about cue action aiming and, you know, uh, winning the games. It's about making sure that your mind is also flowing. That's for me a very, very important thing. Because if your mind is slow and stuck, it's very difficult to have a nice, decent uh, break building. Uh, from my years of um, coaching, it's uh, eight years and a half, I see that there are so many good players who have a clear, like a very good cue action, but they don't have a fast, clear thinking. It's uh, a little bit more rigid. In snooker, you cannot be rigid. And if you look to top 16 players, they play their best when their mind is flowing. It's, so it's not more about cue action, it's about the mind. Because everybody who plays in main tour, most of them, of course, have a decent enough cue action, but the, uh, the mind and the intelligence of the play, that's what separates a good player from the great. And um, if we talk about this drill specifically, you know, I'm looking for the most simple ways to make the break. So I always think about two or three shots ahead and um, I do sometimes cannons. I'm not against cannons, like some coaches say that uh, this exercise you have to do without cannons, but that's not very realistic. Sometimes the shit happens and you need to overcome and create shots for yourself and that's the that makes the drill a little bit more realistic so when i try to do this drill you know i do a couple of times you know my goal in the drill you know score more than 72 points so basically the frame winning break and um, sometimes you're not gonna score total clearance and that's totally fine but it's just all about make your mind flowing don't overthink stuff too much, just keep the technique basic, stay still in the shot, you know, have a clear picture, what do you want to do with Cubo, and just allow your rhythm do all the things for you. That's the key for me, you know, uh, because I know that the best performances you have when, you're, when you are flowing. Uh, it doesn't mean that you are like on the flow state, it just means that you are focused, and you know what they are doing, you're not anxious, you just, you know, try to score as many points as possible to win the frame as soon as you can. You know, because for me, break building is the most fun and the, mo the most important thing in snooker. So better you get this right. And the best players are doing that fantastic, you know. So, um, now I have some upcoming events. I'm planning to play in q -tour. I'm planning to play some pro -am events in Leeds. Uh, you know, coaching is busy, so, you know, I need to schedule my workouts for myself as well, because I do lots of stuff for my students, which are for me very, very important thing. But also I can play well myself. So if I put enough time, enough practice, maybe I would have some uh, discussions with some coaches and uh, players on how I can specifically in my case improve certain aspects because some things I cannot see from outside you need help and that's normal even if you are the coach you have to understand that uh, you cannot see everything especially when you play so there are two ways to see yourself by the video or by allowing somebody else to watch your game and give you a feedback and if you can give yourself a feedback then you have a chance to move on 
So yeah, I have three reds left. And now from this position, I'm thinking to how to have at least two reds open. So I played cannon and the position is still very good. You know, I can play for the black, I can play for the pink, but because the, another red is hanging and I have a long bridge, I decided to play here with topspin. Yeah, and especially in the end games, you have to understand that, you know, you, you have to play as simple as you can and to play two-way position shot if possible. So here, of course, I have a pretty strictish angle, so I could play a, a basic stop shot. And from here again, I, I will play uh, the touch of right hand side, stop shot, again, position for the... Oh, not stop shot, sorry. <laughs> I, I somehow... Um, forgot yeah i used the cushion because the angle was too steep anyway so you want to play nice pattern play so you could have many many options as you do break build here i got a little bit nasty angle you know i want to be a little bit more strict so i could play for the black or for the pink and here i played uh, cushion bounce and opposite pocket uh, blue ball but here i got bad position and from here you know I cannot play pink, I cannot, I can play both colors, but I don't know, like I just decided to, to play blue with touch of right hand side and you know, it's a difficult part and I missed. So that's the practice, hope you enjoyed.